So we can talk a little bit here. Thank you, kind sir. Where we going? Romans what? Did you say ten? How many of y'all love you? I know I heard that boy say ten, but that's all right. We're gonna go ahead and let him go this time. We're gonna give him forgiveness. How many of y'all don't want to give him forgiveness? Raise your hand. That's what I'm talking about. Hold that thing. Let that thing just simmer in your chest a little bit. Then let it go. Ain't that right? Let it simmer around. Ain't that right? Like bacon grease. Well, ain't nothing like no good bacon grease. I wouldn't eat it. When that bacon laying that thing, that frying, that sizzling. I think pork bacon cooked better. But you got to add Mike about that. <laughs> ain't that right? What well, Mike had he still been sick? I thought y'all got blue bunny plate. Swine flu. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess he's going to have to chop it up. Get it? Pork chop? Chop it up? Now, come on, he had to chop it up. Swine, 999,000. How many of y'all trying to get in the mouth? Cool. 999,000. 268 more. I had a million of them things. I'm just glad we can all work together. We all agree it's so funny. Tim had made a funny, but we didn't laugh, so technically, is it a funny? That's right. He said it was hot in there earlier, and he was saying he don't know what was going on. He said he think he might have high blood pressure. He said running his family. He said, yeah, nobody else does. That's why I said he might have made a funny. He just kept laughing. He said, the more I think, but the more I laugh. But I never laugh. <laughs> so technically, is it a funny? If he was the only person laughing. So therefore, he made no funny. Isn't that right? He said runs his family, nobody else does. All right, let's look at this Romans. Like it's going cricket. Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Listen to the book. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Yeah, Ukanai 6, 44. I, I guess, again, what we'll, we'll, what we'll talk about is continuing about relationship. We told we didn't want to fictionalize or marginalize. We want to make sure we got this thing right. A lot of times, I, I think with, um, I guess I shouldn't say a thing I know. A lot of times, we don't really consider what was done to the magnitude. I think we just kind of get emotional at times. Like sometimes you get heavy hearted and you might hear a song or a particular verse might strike you or spark you to kind of take on an emotional feel for that time. But when you really kind of um, get the information of salvation, when you really learn the plan of salvation, what was done, then I think it's a calm or it gives you a serenity. I don't know what someone said. It'll give you a kind of completeness. It'll give you a completeness. So I think sometimes people have some information and not enough, and not enough understanding of what was done that they really can't actually um, picture it to the point that they don't allow other things to come along and move them or swing them. You look at a man like Abraham, it's talking about how he was not unstirred. Can you, believe, can you imagine that? How many of y'all have lost your balance before? And you're like, wow, you know, you're like, good, I don't know how I almost did that. Because you just didn't think. I've been, how you been standing before? You been in some slough fell out your, How many of y'all did that? How many of y'all love you who? So we've all done it. Like all of sin. I, 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 I see my uncle one time in the store. I would call him my uncle. I was at the register. I was saying, Uncle Irvin. He's called Uncle Irvin. I would call him. He went and he looked. And we caught a slough fell out his mouth. And that thing was a big one. I was like, should I have called him uncle while we in the store? People looking. And they blow up a slough fell out of their mouth. They're like one of the times she said, hey, sir, you know, anything like that. But just kind of thinking off, dreaming off, he wasn't conscious of his bodily functions. He wasn't an old man to where that would happen. It was just sometimes you want, just like sometimes you might stumble, you might be staying like, ooh, and catch yourself. Because look at something, you're guilty of it too. But it'll happen. And, before, and then you, I, I know for me, I try to think back. How did I let that happen? How was I not conscious enough? Or, uh, or how did I get almost, didn't pay attention, I'm going to fail or some slaw fell out of my mouth? Because you can lose. That's just the type of mindset you got to stay in with him in relationship. 
Those are natural things we're talking about. Those are things that occur that happen. Not sin, but now you want to transfer that over to when things happen when the debar instructs us not to do certain things. Or when the debar commands us to walk a certain way, and then you miss that. As the book teaches in the second chapter, try quick two and one of the book of Abarim. Again, we're looking at relationship. This is um, Abarim 2 and 1. Listen to the book. Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard. Oh, what you got? Give me 4 and 14 Romans. We'll go right back to Abarim. I just want him to hold for a second. Take a call for a pause. A pause? Call. Yeah, what I said. Let's see if it's 4 and 14. Romans. Listen to the book. For if they which are of the law be heirs, Amunah is made void, and the promise made of none effect. Y'all hear that? That makes sense for y'all? Probably not, does it? Hello? Does that make sense? Just tell me if it makes sense. If it don't make sense, just raise your hand. That was 4 and 14? Yes, That's sir. That's not what I wanted, but I guess we'll try to deal with that too, I guess. This is what happened. Listen to the book. For if they which are of the law be heirs, Amunah is made void, and the promise made of none effect. See that? And the promise made of none effect. That makes sense? You said it does make sense? Okay. How many of y'all said it don't make sense? You don't kind of really understand, I guess. All right. Listen. Because the law worketh wrath. What happened? For where no law is, what there is no transgression. Y'all see that? Y'all hear what the law do? The law worketh wrath, so where no law is, there's no transgression. Listen to the book. Therefore. I to come back. Well, now I got to stop what I'm doing, don't I? Let's look at some barashi. So now y'all got me off topic, and then we got to come back to the topic, don't we? Twenty-one. Give me Barashit, sheet, Genesis twenty-one, seven, and we'll come back to seventeen, seventeen. Some kind of way we'll work this out. That makes sense. Let's see. <clears throat> How do y'all understand everything? They're like, you know, like, we don't understand. <laughs> Listen to the book. And she said, Who would have said unto Abraham that Sarah should have given children suck? What happened? For I have borne him a son in his old, in his old age. See that? I have borne him a son in his old age. What happened? And the child grew and was weaned. Yeah. And Abraham made a great feast the same yom that Yitzchak was weaned. What, what, what? What um, what verse is this? Verse eight. Verse eight. Hold what you got. Seventeen, seventeen. Barashit. Genesis. They call it. Listen to the book. Then Abraham fell upon his pani and laughed, and said in his lob. Shall a Yalad be born unto him that is an hundred years old? Yeah. And shall Sarah, that is ninety years old, bear? Wow. And Abraham said unto Allahim, O oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And Allahim said, Sarah, thy Asha, shall bear thee a ben indeed, and thou shalt call his name Yatsakah. And I will establish my barith with him for an everlasting barith and with his seed after him. Y'all heard what he just said? Listen. And as for Ishmael, yeah. I have heard thee. Wow. Behold, I have barak him and will make 
him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Don't let him say that ain't gonna make him fruitful, Pari. And he gonna multiply. Where fruitful will be offering. Listen. Twelve Sharim shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. What happened? But my Barith will I establish with Yasukot, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. That's good. At the twenty first chapter. On the book of Barashi, back where we was, 21, you said verse 8? Verse 8. Let me get it. Barashi, Genesis, 21 and 8. Listen to the book. And the child grew and was weaned. And Abraham made a great feast the same yom that Yitzchak was weaned. Listen. And Sarah saw the ben of Hagar, the, the Mitzrayim, which she had borne unto Abraham. What's she doing? Mocking. Doing what? Mocking. I say working around. What happened? Wherefore she said unto Abraham, What did she say? Cast out this bondwoman and her bin. Tell him why, son. For the bin of this bondwoman shall not be heir with my bin. Even who? Even with Yitzchak. That's beautiful. At 4 and 14 of the book of Romans. Romans chapter 4 at verse 14. Listen to the book. Romans chapter 4 at verse 14. Listen. For if they... Which if, they, if, you said, say it again, I'm sorry. For if they, which are of the law, be heirs, Amunah. I say, if, you said Yishmael. For if they, I say Yishmael. What did you say? Yishmael, what did you say? For if they, he say one thing, I hear something else. That what is it again? Which are of the law, be heirs. <laughs> you don't believe what Abraham did. He obeyed his laws and kept his statute and his judgment. Your law gave the rulership to the first. That's your law. The elder is going to inherit first. I'm just going through trying to figure. You say you didn't understand it, right? I'm trying to understand it with you. Tell them about Yashamal again. For if they which are of the law be heirs. I told the same thing. Tell them what happened. Amunah is made void. Listen what happened. See that? That would have messed up the problem. Listen what does happen. And the promise made of none effect. So what are you going to tell me? Because the law worketh wrath. Because Sarah got pissed. She was pissed. She came in and she saw that boy marking the promise. See the law working wrath. Uh huh. I just, we left 70 to do this. We'll continue now. Keep going. For where no law is, there is what? No transgression. See what happened? That's, the, there you, that's what he had to do for it. So let me ask y'all a question. So did the law stop existing? So how do people teach this and come back and tell you ain't no law? All he did was separate them. All you need is a teacher. All you, so let me give you straight. He got rid of the law. A lot of these people really, I had to leave what I was doing to do this. A lot of these people really not skilled that they think they are. They're really not skilled that they think they are. See, the law and the promise can actually work together. Did y'all know that? 25 and 1 by a sheet. Listen to the book. Then again, Abraham took an Asha, and her name was Keturah. Yeah. And she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Midan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begat Sheba, and Didan. And the Bini of Didan were Ashurim, and Latushim, and Leumim. And the Bini of Midian, Ephah, and Epher, and Hanak, and Abida, and Elda. All these were the beneath of Keturah. What happened? And Abraham gave all that he had unto Yitzchak. What happened? But unto the beneath of the concubines, which Abraham had, what did he do? Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Yitzchak his ben. When? While he yet lived eastward unto the east country. What happened? And these are the yamim of the years of Abraham's life which he lived. What happened? 
a hundred three score and fifteen years. Yeah. Then Abraham gave up the Ruach and died in a good old age. You say he gave up the Ruach and died in a good old age. And what happened? An old man yeah. and full of years. What happened? And was gathered to his people. Yeah. And his Bani, Yitzchak, and Yishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah. Hold on. So you said, a, you said the law and promise did what? And his Bani, Yitzchak, and Yishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah. I don't know what these people are doing. I can show you where the law separated and the con, and I saw it came back together. We can get back on second now. At the fourth chapter of the book of Romans. You ain't gonna believe it though. Every scribe can do this. That's instructing to the mouth cool. Let's see what happened over here. At the fourth chapter, what we left off at 14, 15, 16? 16. Four and sixteen of Romans. Listen to the book. Therefore, it is of Amunah that it might be by Khan to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed. See that? That's what it says. So the promise could be sure. So you can see why he would have sent the law away. So this could be established. You know right? Same you had a thing you had to do with same thing you had to do with Adam. Isn't that right? So it could be established. He taken away the first that he might establish. That's why he had to send yes his mile away. He was trying to establish the second. This is what you say by for by Connor you say and not of yourself, not by the law. It's to give, it's to barah, Allahim. Lest any man should boast. Not a work. We already seen what works to do. Right? Let's see what happens. Not to that only which is of the law, yeah. but to that also which is of the Amunah of Abraham. So the faith of Abraham. Tell them what happened. Who is the Abba of us all. See that? That's why you see, guess what happened? You seen the law and you seen Khan come and bear it. So who was the father of Ishmael? Who was the father of Yasakar? He just told you the father of us all. Listen. As it is written, what happened? I have made thee a Abba of many nations. See that? Listen. And that's why you went through and you saw he took again, he took Katora. He saw all them kids. Those all nations. A lot of these people try to count they said Abraham. They don't but see, the people that he actually count ain't the people that you count. Pick me up 9 and 1 Romans. Why y'all getting me off like this? And y'all just come on through and say, y'all understand, we could have kept going. Romans 9 and 1. Listen to the book. I say the Amat in Mashiach. And do what? I lie not. Tell them what happened. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Ruach HaKadosh. You know what your conscience is? That's your decision in right and wrong. And that's what a lot of people don't have. You got to have a conscience. You'll see people go in and murder people and innocent kids and men and women and old people. But they don't have a conscience. Something should cause you to consider to look at what's right and what's wrong. And people don't have it. Just like in the garden, people don't believe it. They didn't have a conscience. Y'all all right? What do, what do you think happens when you have knowledge and you have information that's pertinent to salvation and then you go and you do the opposite? You're not conscious. You don't have a conscience. Because you do a thing and you don't even consider what's the outcome of this whole thing when I do it. Listen, the only difference between what we'll call a sinner and a believer is the fact that somebody considers it ain't that you don't have the ability you just consider the latter end that we asked before if they were wise if they would do what they're what that means they had a conscience if they had a conscience they would have considered but when you don't have a conscience you don't worry about the outcome of things and you just do just like Kaua did she sat there she saw it was good for food I'm hungry one to be desired one to make one wise what did she do took ate and what did she do and she gave it to him, too, because you don't have a conscience. That's what you do. You don't have a conscience. When you have a conscience, you consider. People, let me tell you something. A lot of these people sitting around doing the job shouldn't be doing Those people don't have a conscience. They don't have a conscience. What's your latter end when you mess this up? What's your latter end when you go and you do this wrong? People, oh, I knew a false prophet. He knew a false prophet. Why would you do it? Why wouldn't you just go on out and just do what you want to do in the street? I already know what my latter end is. What would be the purpose? 
Trying to impress who? For what? We are burned together. Why waste time trying to face something when you just go on and do what you're going to do and burn? I'm wise. I can set my lot in. That's all I got to do. You know what he said a wise man do? He hides himself. Isn't that right? He hides himself. You know, it was set up when they actually got ready to get the land. You know what he had them to set up, Isaac? Because of the avenger of blood. Somebody seeking you. Y'all know a lot of us, how many of y'all done did some stuff before? How many of y'all ain't been caught and paid for everything you've done? That's oh, why I can't go nowhere. I'm in the city of refuge. The avenger of blood is still living. I ain't going to go out there and play with that man. I'm going to stay right here. I need to move my mind. I thought Jahi learned sign language. We seen your birthday picture. Must have been an ugly baby. Must I'm sorry that song slept out. How Jahi came out as a brand new baby looking like that? That ain't with a beard. Wow. Now I scared that to be a mom. You breastfeeding your kid ain't saying with a beard. Can you imagine putting a pamper on a baby look like that? I just let him win out. If it was me, if I was a dad, if I was that boy, Pap, I just let him win around with a saw diaper. You think I, a brand new baby with Jahi whole face and features on it, and you got to change the diaper, and everything is just looking at you. Somewhere it tells you this ain't right in your conscience. Anyway, y'all all right? All right, listen to the book. This is 91, Romans. I speak. I say the Amat in Mashiach, I lie not. What happened? My conscience also bearing me witness in the Ruach HaKadosh. That you do what? That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could desire that myself were a curse from Mashiach for my Akim, yeah. my kinsmen according to the flesh. What happened? Who are of Yashraul, to whom pertain the adoption, and the Kabud, and the Barith, yes. and the giving of the law, and the service of Elohim, and the promises. What happened? Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Mashiach came. Let me ask you a question. And y'all heard what he just said concerning them? He was telling you about these people he had great heaviness of heart of. Then he started talking about concerning the adoption. You know what you usually get for people when you adopt them? Paperwork. That's what we're going through. That's why I told you a lot of people got fish alive. They got fish alive relationship. He would talk about Yashara getting paperwork. He talked about adopting. Can you imagine being adopted? Then he started telling you when it came down to Yasharal. Can you bad me? Let me hear what he told us about Yasharal. For I could desire that myself were a curse from Mashiach for my Akim, my kinsman. Can you, you know what happened? Why he could get that from? He could have got that from uh, Yishmael. He was a curse to the fact that he had to separate. He still had a cover, a barrette, but he had to be separated because his kinsman, according to the flesh. Can you imagine that? You sit here, they look at it, realizing who should go, you or him. And here goes Shaul saying that he would desire to be like Yishmael, that he could be a curse for his kinsmen according to the flesh. Tell me about him again, Brandon. Who are of Yash See that Who are of Yasharal. To whom pertain to the adoption. Pertain, who pertain to the adoption. And the kabood. The, and the glory. And the covenants. And the covenants. And the giving of the law. Uh oh, the giving of the law. And the service of Allahim. And the service of Allahim. And the promises. And the promises. Tell me what else. Whose are the fathers. See, he just said they're the father. They belong to the father. Just like Ishmael did and just like Yasakar did. The giving of the law, the service, and the promise. The glory, everything. He said, and they belong to the father. Can y'all believe that? Oh. All right. Listen to the book. And of whom... As concerning the flesh, Mashiach came, yeah. who is over all, Allahim, Barak, forever. Amen. See that? Listen what else happened. Not as though the debar of Allahim hath taken none effect. But what happened? For they are not all Yasharal, which are of Yasharal. See that? They are not all Yasharal that's of, Ashara, of Yasharal. Talk to me. And neither, because they are the seed of Abraham. Are they what? Are they all children? See that? Because we don't even talk about them other kids Abraham had, did we? We mainly just deal with the two. And for us, that's 
that look at the bereft that he gave unto him concerning his seed being multiplied, we only look at one. Hold what you got. Galatians 3, verse 16. We'll come back. Listen to the book. Now to Abraham, and his seed, S -E -E -D. were the promises made. What did he do? He saith not, and to seeds, S -E -E -D -S. as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is who? Mashiach. See that? All these people that have been begotten, all these people that come through, they're only talking about one. That one promise is what's going to unite us all. Everybody got to come back up on that one. This is going to be for the uniting of the Amunah. Law keepers, people that did the service. Only one thing on the night, all of us will bring us together. Finish back up the night, chapter. Nine, and what verse? Verse 7. At verse 7. Romans chapter 9, verse 7. Listen to the book. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham See that? are they all children. Can you believe that? Neither because they're the seed of Abraham are they all children or beneath. Listen. But in Yitzchak shall thy seed be called. Yeah. That is, they which are the beneath of the flesh, these are not the beneath of Elohim. But the beneath of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the debar of promise. What happened? At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a ben. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, yeah. even by our Abba, Yitzchak. Yeah. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any ta'uba rasha, what happened? that the purpose of Elohim according to election might stand. What happened? Not of works, but of him that calleth. So that's what we realize what we got now is not of works, but of him that calleth. So what we use? Uyakra? And he called? Can you believe that? And he called. Listen. It was said unto her that what happened? The elder shall serve the younger. See that? He told us. Said I'm going to wind up working. The elder going to serve the younger. What happened? As it is written, Jacob have I loved, and? but Esau have I hated. Yeah. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Elohim? What happened? Elohim forbid. Yeah. For he saith to Masha, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And what you'll do? And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. That's beautiful. Can you imagine how you got this? Can you imagine that you were elected to this? That's what makes this thing, when we look at when the book teaches in the fourth chapter of the book of Romans, about what is Abraham found. Huh? What, look at this thing. You, can you imagine that this man could look and choose one and reject another? Can you imagine that? Wow. Let's see something right quick. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Olive Shemuel, First Samuel. Maybe I'll come back over there and finish up. Now we kind of took some turns here. Let's see, sixteen and seven. I see something else. Listen to the book. But Yahuwah said unto Shamuel, What did he say? Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature. Stand up at verse 5. Listen to the book. And he said, Peaceably, I am come to sacrifice unto Yahuwah. Consecrate yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he consecrated Jesse and his Beni and called them to the sacrifice. What happened? And it came to pass when they were come that he looked on Eliab and said, Surely Yahuwah's anointed is before him. But Yahuwah said unto Shamuel, Look not on his countenance yeah. or on the height of his stature. Tell me what happened. Because I have refused him. For Yahuwah seeth not as each seeth. Tell me what happened, son. For each looketh on the outward appearance. But what does Elohim do? Yahuwah looketh on the lob. Which means he look on the inward parts. 
That's why he said we're going to put his laws and going to put all his, his writings, his rituals on our inward part. And see what happened to a lot of people, why you can't get them on the inward part? In the same place when Yahushua was born. Anybody know what the problem was? No room. There was no place at the end. There wasn't no place for him to abode. That's why he had to be born outside. There wasn't no place for him to be born. He had to be born inside of a stable. Can you imagine that? So when he look at a man, you look at the outward appearance. He looking at, ain't no place for me to abide in there. You ain't got no room. You got so much other stuff and hypocrisy. You got so many other things you love, you connect to. You got so many other things that you dedicate yourself to. Where it just ain't no room. That's why I tell y'all a person got to be honest first. That's going to be the first thing I do. You got to just be honest. He can do a lot with an honest man. Just can't do nothing with a man not honest. Not, uh, a dishonest man will hide a lot of stuff. He'll cover a lot of stuff. When I say man, we can talk about the women too now. So when we lead this song, we just talk about the male fact. It's just being honest. And that's what I wind up messing us up. Listen to the book. Then Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Shamuel. And he said, Neither hath Yahuwah chosen this. Yeah. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by. And he said, Neither hath Yahuwah chosen this. Again, Jesse made seven of his beni to pass before Shamuel. Mm -hmm. And Shamu said, and Shamuel said unto Jesse, Yahuwah have not chosen these. And you look at that. Listen what happened. And Shamuel said unto Jesse, Are here all thy beni? Yeah. And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. What happened? And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Shamuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him. Wow. For we will not sit down till he come hither. Sit down. Listen. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and withal of a beautiful countenance and goodly to look to. What happened? And Yahuwah said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Yeah. Then Shamuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his Akim. And the Ruach of Yahuwah came upon Dawood from that yum forward. So Shamuel rose up and went to Ramoth. That's good. That's beautiful. Pick me up at the first chapter of the book of Abarim. Abarim, Hebrews, as they call it. Other one, you'll get me. Um, yeah, Ukanan. Nineteen. Thirty-two. Abarim. Give me Ukanan first. John nineteen thirty-two. Then we we'll got Abarim one and one. Listen to the book. Then came the soldiers and break the legs of the first and of the other which was crucified with him. But when they came to Yahusha and saw that he was dead already, what did they do? They break not his legs. Why did they do that, Aki? Because the scripture couldn't be broken. That's how important that was for us. Listen. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. And forthwith came there out Dom and Mayim. What happened? And he that saw it bear record. Yeah. And his record is a mot. How he know? And he knoweth that he saith a mot. For what reason? That ye might believe. Because it's about promise. The promise is about you believing. So he said, I can't be lying. Just like Shaul said. He spake the truth in Yahuwah. And he, he lied not. Because you got to believe it. We talked about this in the seventh chapter of the book of Yeshayahu. If you don't believe, you do know you won't be established. See, these statements they're making are that important in your salvation. I can't be lying because this is how you say. That's why I told you people got fictional relationships with this man. They know they're lying. They know they're living a lie. How are you going to be established? You don't even believe. The man I'm told, he that believe in is immersed shall. He that believe if not. So the only person, only reason to be telling you lies is that you couldn't be saved. That'd be the only way to tell you lies. So you won't be saved. 
So these men, now, he tell you when I make this statement because of your law. He had, to receive, he had to receive it twice. He had to recite it twice. Your law had to have two witnesses. So he knew he had to make sure this lines up with your law. He said, listen, I'm not lying. Listen, I know I'm not lying because you got to believe this. Only Mr. Yahuwah would set it up like that. Once he said it the first time, you should have been taken. But he know that's not your law. I can't take that because he just shot out his mouth the first time. So he let you know he know he saw it. And he's unbearable and it's true. And I know I'm telling the truth. Because you got to believe it. Listen what happened. For these things were done. For what reason? That the scripture should be fulfilled. Y'all see that? That's why they were done. So the scripture could be fulfilled. Like what? A bone of him shall not be broken. You can't break the law. What else happened? And again, another scripture saith. What they say? They shall look on him. Whom he has anointed. Whom they pierced. And look on him whom they anointed too. All his IQ looked on him too when he anointed him. When Dawood got anointed, they all looked on him. So they had to make him good to be looked at. He had to establish it that way so you will look. They all looked on him when he was getting anointed. They had to look at him too. They had to look on him. This is your law. Don't worry about it. One and one. This is one and one of Abarim. Listen. Allahim, who at sundry times and in divers manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the Nabi'im. But did what? Hath in these last Yamim spoken unto us by his Ben. Who what? Whom he hath appointed heir of all things, the by God. whom also he made the Arats. What happened? Who being the brightness of his kaboo and? and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the debar of his power yeah. when he had by himself purged our sins. Hold on for a minute. That's tight now. So what put us in this um, predicament? What happened? Discretion of the law? Transgression of the law? What put us in this situation? We'll hit another matter. It don't concern y'all either. What happened? Goodness. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Yeshayahu. Isaiah. What they call it? Let's see. It's 63 and 7. Isaiah 63 and 7. Listen to the book. I will mention the loving kindnesses of Yahuwah. Kindnesses? What you say? The loving kindness? It said kindness? I just have to check behind you sometimes. Nothing, you know what I'm saying? That I might believe. So I can be established. You know what I'm saying? Listen to the book. Kindness, sis. Yeah, all right, listen. And the halah of Yahuwah, according to all that Yahuwah hath bestowed on us, and the great ta'ub toward the Beth of Yasharal, which... Hold on, hold on, hold on. See if that uh, your cousin called 22, 28. They call it Ezekiel. Cosca call. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 28. Other one you'll give me Kahala. Ecclesiastes. Seven twenty six. Listen to the book. Then we'll come back to Yeshayahu. Listen to the book. And her Nabiim have daubed them with untempered mortar. 
Yes. Seeing vanity and divining lies unto them. Yes. Saying, Thus saith Yahuwah Elohim. And we did what? When Yahuwah hath not spoken. See that? What the purpose of doing that? Keep you from being established. Why else would you be telling me lies? Because if I believe, I'd be established. So what would be the purpose of you telling me lies? So I wouldn't be established. Listen. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery. See that? Listen. And have vexed the poor and needy. Listen. Yea, they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully. What has happened? And I sought for an each among them. You say you did what? I sought for an each among them. He was looking for a man. That should make up the hedge. For what? And stand in the gap before me and for the, for the land. For what reason? That I should not destroy it. And what happened? But I found none. That's all I need to know. Kahalah, Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7 and verse 26. You're hearing statements being made. But you got to understand if you're going to be saying. Kahalah. The lectures. The preacher. 7 and 26. Listen to the book. And I find more bitter than death. Is what? The Asha. The Asha. They found more bitter than death. What happened? Whose lob is snares and nets. See that? What has happened? And her hands as bands. Yeah. Whoso pleaseth Allahim shall escape from her. Listen. But the sinner shall be taken by her. Yeah. Behold. This have I found, saith the preacher. Doing what? Counting one by one. And what happened? To find out the account. And what happened? Which yet my nefash seeketh. My soul seeketh. And what do you find? But I find not. Like what? One each among a thousand have I found. And what happened? But a asha among all those have I not found. What did you find? Lo. This only have I found. See, that's the only thing he done found. What was it? That Allahim hath made each upright. See that? He made them upright. And tell them what happened. But they have sought out many inventions. That's what he found out. Man, I sought out many wicked devices. He said the only thing he could find out about it. At the 63rd chapter, verse 7 of Yeshayahu, man is still holding the book of Abarim, chapter 1, about verse 2. 63rd chapter. But yes, Yahoo, they call Isaiah 63 and 7. Listen to the book. I will mention the loving kindnesses of Yahuwah. Yeah. And the halah of Yahuwah. And the praise of Yahuwah. What happened? According to all that Yahuwah hath bestowed on us. Listen. And the great ta'ub toward the Beth of Yasharal, which he hath bestowed on them according to his rakam. And according to the multitude of his loving kindnesses. Listen. For he said, surely they are my arm. Yeah. Beni that will not lie. What happened? So he was their savior. That's what I'm talking about. Listen. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the Maliki of his presence saved them. Yeah. In his Ahab and in his pity. He redeemed them, and he bare them, and carried them all the Yamim of old. Yeah. But they rebelled and vexed his Ruach HaKudash, mm -hmm. and vexed his Kudash Ruach. Yeah. Therefore he was turned to be their enemy, and he fought against them. Yeah. Then he, Zakar, the Yamim of old. Then he remembered. He reminded himself. What happened? Musha and his arm saying where is he that brought them up out of the sea and the Ra of his flock yes. where is he that put his Kudash Ruach within him mm -hmm. that led them by the right hand of Musha with his Kabood arm dividing the Mayim before them to make himself an everlasting Shem that led them through the deep as an horse in Bamadba, that they should not stumble. Yeah. As a beast goeth down into the valley, the Ruach of Yahuwah caused him to rest. So didst thou lead thy arm to make thyself a Kabud Shem. Yes. 
look down from Shamayim, and behold, from the habitation of thy Kudash, and of thy Kubud, and of thy Kabud, where is thy zeal and thy strength, the sounding of thy bowels and of thy rakam toward me, are they restrained? Mm -hmm. Doubtless thou art our Abba, so who? Abraham, be ignorant of us, and Yasharal acknowledge us not. And verse chapter 58, and verse 17, same book. Listen to the book. 14th, last verse. 58 and 17. This is Yahoo. <clears throat> Listen to the book. 14 is the last verse. 14 the last verse? Yes, sir. Give me 11. Let's see what that's saying. Listen. And Yahuwah shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy nefash in drought and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of Maim, whose waters fail not. Yeah. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundation of many Tuladoth, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths uh, to dwell in. Chapter 56, 17. 59, let me see. 57 has a 17th verse. That was 57, the 57th chapter? No, no, no. 57 has a 17th verse. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, you don't like your tone either? I, I apologize. I apologize. Where is it at? I apologize. I was out of line. Too late now. And then we're going to find out what did the five fingers say to your face. <laughs> Slap! <laughs> See if, um, try 5917. I know 57 got one. Let's should deal with, uh, listen. For he put on Sadiq. Back me up to verse 15. 5915. Yea, Ahmad faileth. And he that departeth from Russia maketh himself a prey. Y'all see what happened? He that doth what? Departeth from Russia maketh himself a prey. So what happened? And Yahuwah saw it. And what happened? It displeased him Listen to that. Listen. that there was no judgment. Listen what happened. And he saw that there was no Ish and wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him. And what happened? His Sadiq, it sustained him. His wrath sustained him. At the Abarim chapter 1, Hebrews chapter 1. Now we start at 1 and 1, be fine. Hebrews 1 and 1, they call it Abarim 1 and 1. Allahim. Who at sundry times and in divers manners. So at different times and different ways. What does it mean? Different time and different ways. What did he do? Spake in time past unto the fathers by the Nabi'im. See that? They used the Nabi'im who they'll call the prophets. And what had did what? Hath in these last years, I mean, spoken unto us by his bend. See that? That's what we're looking at. What did he do, Brandon? Whom he hath appointed heir of all things. So we should have been looking at that. Isn't that right? Listen. By whom also he made the Arunts. What happened? Who being the brightness of his kabood. And? The express image of his person. Did what? And upholding all things by the debar of his power. It sustained him. What did he do? When he had by himself purged our sins. Why would now you understand why he did it by himself? Because he was looking for a man. He was looking for a man. So now we had to go do all that just to show you why he did it by himself. Huh? Pick me up at the 44th chapter of the book of Yeshayahu. Isaiah, what they call it? Let's see. Let's see, 44 and 20. Let's start the 20th verse. Listen to the book. 
he feedeth on ashes, a deceived lob hath turned him aside, that he cannot deliver his nefash, nor say, is there not a lie in my right hand? Yeah. Zakar these, O Yaakov, and Yasharal, for thou art my abad, I have formed thee, thou art my abad, O Yasharal, thou shalt not be forgotten of me. What happened? I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins what happened? return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Yes. Shereem, O ye Shamayim, for Yahuwah hath done it, shout, ye lower parts of the Arats, break forth into Shareem, ye Har, O forest, and every ox therein, for Yahuwah hath redeemed Yaakov, and Kabud himself in Yasharal. Thus saith Yahuwah, thy Redeemer, I couldn't imagine. And he that formed thee from the womb, what happened? I am Yahuwah that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the Shamayim alone. I wonder what he looking for anybody. What did he do? That stretcheth forth the Shamayim alone. What else could you do? That spreadeth abroad the Arats by myself. Talk to him. That frustrateth the tokens of the liars. And make it? Diviners mad. Make it. See what he do? Make them mad. Don't draw these people to madness. So when we see him come along when he saw it, that he did it himself, it shouldn't have been nothing. It should have thrown us. We've been watching this pattern for a long time. You start tracking it, man. This ain't nothing new with it, man. In fact, he come back and tell you what he did. He said, I spread for I did it alone. So I spread abroad it by myself. He kept looking for a man before he intercede. Y'all didn't know that? He kept looking for a man before he intercede. Pick me up if you would. Let's see. Make a couple of turns, twists and turns. Y'all don't mind. Um, who, Allah Shemut, 71? Exodus, 71. Who? All are Shemut, and these were the names. Other one get me U Ala Shemut. Two and ten. Make it two and twelve. Exodus chapter seven, verse one, then Exodus Exodus two and eleven. Listen to the book. And Yahuwah said unto Meshach, What did he say? See, I have made thee an Elohim to Pharaoh. Again, please, sir. <clears throat> and Yahuwah said unto Meshach, And he said unto Meshach, See, I have made thee an Elohim to Pharaoh. And? Aharon, thy, thy ox shall be thine abi. That's good. At the second chapter, please. Chapter 2. Who Allah Shemut, chapter 2, and verse 11. Listen to the book. And it came to pass in those Yamim, what happened? when Moshe was grown, what happened? that he went out unto his Achim and looked on their burdens. Listen. And he spied one of Mitzrayim smiting an Abri, what happened? one of his Achim. What happened? And he looked this way and that way. What was he looking for? And when he saw that there was no Ish. I'm sorry, what happened? And he looked this way and that way. And what did he do? And when he saw that there was no Ish. What did he do? He slew the man of Mitzrayim. His own arm brought salvation. I don't like to tell him he can make him one. Because he worked like I do. Before he got started, he tried to see what somebody else going to do something. He looked this way and that way. All he kept looking for to see who was going to do something. And when they did, his own arm brought him salvation. So a lot of statements that we hear, it doesn't make sense unless you actually grasp the concept. Ain't that right? What did he use to kill him? Use his hand. Ain't that right? So he looked. All I was waiting to see was, is anybody going to do anything? He sees somebody being oppressed wrongfully. Is anybody going to do anything? I guess it's up to me. When he came, he saw the rock. You can believe what it was. Boy, nobody going to do nothing? That's why he had a problem with all these people. When you start claiming and, and denoting these so-called other gods, he got a problem with it. Because he's looking, when are they going to do anything? He keep leaving things and say, when are these guys going to intercede? He said, I can't find him. 
Where they at? He said, I don't know where they at. Nobody, he, I can't, he said, nobody did nothing. At the 16th chapter of the book of your cause are called 16 and 1. Your cause are called Ezekiel. Yeah, we done changed position so many times. Not position, direction. Your cause are called your cosmic call. 16 and 1. Ezekiel 16 and 1. Listen to the book. Again, the Debar of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, What did he say? Ben of Ish caused Jerusalem to know her abominations. Yeah. And say, Thus saith Yahuwah Elohim unto Jerusalem. What did he say? Thy birth and thy nativity is of the land of Canaan. Or Canaan. What happened? Thy Abba was an Amorite. And? Thy Aim and Hittite. And as for thy nativity, Tell them what happened. in the yum thou was born, what happened? thy navel was not cut, neither was thou washed in myim to supple thee. Thou was not salted at all, nor swallowed at all. Yeah. None I pity thee so now, what happened? to do any of these unto thee. They said nobody did none of this to you. What happened, son? To have compassion upon thee. Yeah. But thou was cast out. In the open field to the loathing of thy person in the yum that thou was born. Talk to me, son. And when I passed by thee. He said, and he asked you that nobody else do it. You know I've been looking the whole time. Huh? And he said, when I passed by. Tell us what happened. And saw thee polluted in thine own dom. What happened? I said unto thee. Go ahead and die. When thou wast. In thy dom, yeah, Kai. I said, Leo. Nobody else wouldn't tell you that. Nobody else didn't. Even, you know, nobody else told you that. Nobody else came and did that when they saw you laying in your position where you were, with doubt, cast out. You were just thrown out. He said, nobody did that for you. He said, but I came and I said, Leo. I came by and I seen you. You were polluted. I looked at who you were connected to, and I came by and I saw you. And nobody else pitied you, and I did. They don't like that. That's why I appreciate. I appreciate the way. Nobody else came and did this for him. At the 15th chapter book of your Ukanon, 15 to 22. John. Listen to the book. If I had not come and spoken unto them, tell them what happened. They had not had sin. What had happened? But now they have no cloak for their sin. What else could he possibly tell me? He that hateth me hateth my Abba also. What else happened? If I had not done among them the, the works which none other each did. You said when I was looking for a man to do it. Whole time you have been watching. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. Everybody see your condition. Nobody going to do nothing. That's why I get on y'all when people don't care about y'all welfare. Ain't nobody going to do nothing. I've been looking for a man. He says, I've been looking for a man that's going to stand the gap for him. Who's going to stand the gap for you? That's how he said he's been looking for a man. So he saw nobody do nothing. Just like Musha, his own arm brought salvation. It sustained him. True fail. Everybody depart from this stuff, make this stuff a prey. And when he seen it, he hated it. He hated it. That there was no intercessor. Ain't nobody going to intercede for you? Nobody going to do nothing for you? Y'all are trusting. You know, cursed the man trusting his own strength. You can't. He done told without me you can do nothing. Oh, I'm holding on. I know I can't do nothing without this man. I'd be a fool to break off this man. Do what? Man, you look at the news, you see how many just tragedies happening here. And all it is just this man just waving a hand, a blink of an eye, just whatever he put in your heart. Can you imagine he can set you up and deceive you to send you the wrong way and you know it's wrong, you still go? Tell you that he told me that you were going to be deceived 
that you were going to go up and you were going to fall. And everything in your mind and heart say, go anyway. I can't fight a man like that. When people start playing with your mind, that's a whole other thing. That man control your mind. You be a fool to try to fight him. Isn't that right? What you going to do when you can't control your mind? Man, sit here and let you just piss all over yourself right now. You don't know it. By the time you look up, man, you already be in sog underwear. Man, I told you when he seen him laying in the open field. Say, you were sitting there in your own blood. You didn't even know you were dying. These people had cast you out. And I said, live. I said, live. You'd be a fool to break off from this man. I'd be a fool. That's why I want to get to know him. I want to get to know the depths. I want to understand why people make certain statements, why statements are made. Make sure I actually comprehend the subject matter. Because I don't want to just be believing something just to believe, to receive, to achieve. And that right? Be like rhyme. You can't rhyme without punchlining. Just being honest. A lot of people need a hook. Some people just let it go. He already got a hook. Three of them. That's how he hung up now. Oh, you got to have a hook. You didn't know that? That's how they put him up now. You got to have a hook. They don't like that, do they? Somebody's going to make a song that call you got to have a hook. <laughs> I best be getting my royalty. I know Brandon. <laughs> you need a hook. I'm going to be watching all y'all just going through all y'all stuff now. Is that the truth? I mean, what we going to do, people? Y'all understand how important it what this man, he read some message just kind of here. You just, you just kind of just sit back and just kind of, just sit back and you just kind of consider statements and you just try to come back and you just kind of look at why people had such a dependency and why people looked a certain way. Do you understand the people that came for this was their whole hope. Unlike this, just, man, we got people, if this fail, ain't no big deal. But for some of us, it's all we got. Let's see. 24th chapter of the book of Ori, y'all, they call Luke. See, we're at 24 and 12. And just hold for a minute. Uh, yes, or Yahoo. I'll come back and play with that a little bit. Listen to the book. Then arose Cuff and ran unto the sepulchre, and stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves, and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. Yeah. And behold, two of them went that same yune to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about three score furlongs. What happened? And they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it That's came right. to pass that while. what? And they talked together of all these things which had happened. You know what they did? They went back over everything that happened. What happened? And it came to pass. Then what happened? While they communed together and reasoned, Yahusha himself drew near and went with them. And what happened? But their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And what happened? He said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another? That you do what? Walk. And are sad. You hear that? That they were walking and they were sad. He want to know why were they doing this. Why was it that they were walking and they were sad? This is what he wanted to know. Listen. And one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering, said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem? And what happened? And hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these Yamin? Tell him what happened, son. And he saith unto them, What things? And they said unto him, concerning Yahushua of Nazareth, which was a Nabi, mighty, indeed, and Debar before Allahim and all the arm. Yeah. And how the Rosh Kohanim and our Sharim delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. Listen. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Yashara. And That's beside right. all this... Today is the third yum since these things were done. At the 44th chapter of the book of Yeshayahu. At verse 4. Oh, don't give me 47. So if it's 49 and 7. Listen to the book. And they shall spring up as among the grass. As willows by the watercourses. Yeah. One shall say, 
I am Yahuwah's, yeah. and another shall call himself by the name of Yaakov, wow. and another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahuwah, and surname himself by the name of Yasharal. Yeah. Thus saith Yahuwah, the Malach of Yasharal, and his Redeemer, Yahuwah Sabot. Back me out. Who was that again? Thus saith Yahuwah, the Malach of Yasharal. The who now? The Malach of Yasharal. Who? The Malach of Yasharal. And who else? And his Redeemer, Yahuwah Sabot. That's why they were saying it. That's why they were saying. They had enough sense. Pick me up at the 30th chapter of the book of Marshalline. Thirty and one Proverbs. By word adage. Let me spell that. Adage. That's just a short statement to truth. Just a short statement about something true. You can believe how he opened his mouth. By Marshalline. By adage. Just short statements. That's true. Y'all didn't know how that worked. This is Yahoo 28 and 7. That's your law. Isaiah. Twenty-eight and seven. Oh, don't give me the book of Mark, chapter four, verse thirty-two, and we'll come back. He got me Yeshua chapter twenty-eight, verse seven. Other one got me the book of Mark, chapter four, at verse thirty-two. Listen to the book. But they also have erred through what wine and. Through strong drink. And these people still go in these little churches and tell them about drinking. Tell me who did it, son. Or out of the way. Who? The Kahan and the Nabi yeah. have erred through strong drink. Talk to me. They are swallowed up of wine. What else happened? They are out of the way through strong drink. Tell them why, son. They err in Kazum. You know you can be drunk with the kids of this world, too. Tell them what else they do, son. They stumble in judgment. What else happened? For all tables are full of vomit and filthiness. So that there is no place clean. Talk to me. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? See what he's going to do? Who he going to teach? Who he going to make to understand doctrine? Listen to who? Them that are weaned from the milk. And? Drawn from the breast. What happened? For precept must be upon precept. Tell them how it's going to happen, son. Precept upon precept. Listen to how it's going to happen. Line upon line. Tell them how it's going to happen. Line upon line. Tell them how it's going to happen. Here a little. Adage. And there a little. Adage. Marshall Lee. 4 and 32. Mark. Book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 32. Listen to the book. But when it is sown... It groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs. Talk to me. And shooteth out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Talk to me. And with many such, Marshall Lee, spake he that a bar unto them. Called precept had to be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Talk to me, Brandon. As they were able to hear it. And what happened? But without a Mashal spake he not unto them. And what happened? And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his Methesis. Adage. That's how he spoke to him. He just gave them little statements about truth. That's why we got to get back to our crowd. But see, Yeshua Yahu already told us what's going to happen. We should have been looking because the ninth chapter, 9 and 6, Yeshua Yahu. They ain't got to believe it, but they ain't not going to be established. Nine and six, Isaiah. Listen to the book. For unto us a yalad is born, and unto us a ben is given. Tell me what happened. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And what's gonna happen? His shem shall be called wonderful, counselor, Allahim, the everlasting Abba, the Shah of Shalom. Yeah. Of the increase of his government and Shalom. 
there shall be no end. To do what? Upon the throne of Daoud, and upon his Malkuth, to order it, and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. That's good. That's good. So we should have been looking for this baby. We should have been looking for him. And once he drawn from the breast and he was weaned from the milk, he was going to start teaching him. He was going to start teaching him. We were going to start sending him an education level change. He told us who he was going to teach. Pick him up in the second chapter of the book of Oriel, Luke, chapter 2. Oriel chapter 2. Give me verse 28. Let's drop down. Listen to the book. Then took he him up in his arms and Barak Elohim and Man said. Man me up about verse 25. And behold, there was an Ish in Jerusalem whose name was Shimon. The same Ish was Sadak and devout waiting for the consolation of Yasharal. Yeah. And the Ruach HaKadosh was upon him. Yeah. And it was revealed unto him by the Ruach HaKadosh that he should not see death before he had seen the Adon's Mashiach. See that? Listen. And he came by the Ruach into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child, Yahusha, to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he, uh, took he him up in his arms. Yeah. And Barak Elohim and said, Adon, now lettest thou, thy Abad, depart in Shalom according to thy debar. Yeah. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, yeah. which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. Listen. And I order to lighten the Gentiles and the kabood of thy people, Yasharal. Yes. And Yosef and his aim marveled at those things which was spoken of him. And Shimon barak them and said unto Marim his aim, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Yasharal. See that? Listen. And for a sign which shall be spoken against, yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own, thine own soul also. You know what amazing that you made that statement? He said it's going to be for a sign to be spoken against. He told you you're going to frustrate the token of the liars. He frustrated. They spoke against the sign. They did. They spoke against them. He tried to tell us that. Listen. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy, thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. That's what I'm talking about. Jump on down about verse 30. What did that go to? 40? What's that? 52, 52 is the last verse. Jump down and give me verse 46. Listen. And it came to pass that after three yamim, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, Doing both what? hearing them and asking them questions. And what happened? And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. You know what they mess up at? They were looking for him to be a man. He just told you who he was going to teach. So all he had to do was just get him off the breast, wean him from the milk. He could start teaching him. He was looking. He asked y'all, who was he going to teach? He wanted to get somebody that was going to be weaned. So you had to see him being born. And you got to why he was breastfed. And as soon as he got him weaned from the breast and from the milk, look what he did. This man was in the temple. What was he doing, Brandon? Sitting in the midst of the doctors. Doing what? Both hearing them and asking them questions. And what happened? And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. <laughs> All he had to do was just get him off the breast. So you got to ask yourself, if you were to get off the breast, what would happen? If you were weaned from the milk, 5 and 11, Abarim. Make it 5 and 10. Abarim, Hebrews 5 and 10. Listen to the book. Called of Alahim and Rosh Kohan. See that? He would call Alahim a Rosh, the head Kohan. What happened, son? After the order of Melchizedek. Tell me what happened. Of whom we have many things to say. Of whom? We have many things to say. But what happened? And hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. That baby sleepy. That baby so sleepy. What do you think he just told you? This is what he told you. For when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which is the last, which be the first principles of the oracles of Allahim. And that's what 644 taught us. 
It's written in the Nabaeen. Before you start teaching, you need to be taught. That's the first principle. That's the first principle. That's your law. I ain't never been taught I'm finna teach people. Don't make sense. He said, you should. You expected to teach, but you have need to be taught again. That's the first principle. And let me see what else he would tell us after that. Listen. And are become such as have need of milk. So which means can't teach you nothing. You need milk. Listen. And not of strong meat. Tell them why. For every one that useth milk if. unskillful in the debar of Sadiq. So that makes sense now why Yeshua who told you who he was going to teach. Because you're not going to have no skill level. It is. Just being honest, your skill level too low. You're not going to be able to retain nothing. Your, your mental intellect not down. Don't make sense to teach you. Not to do what we're trying to do or you to try to teach. Because then need to be taught again. Really, all you need is a bottle. Do y'all understand how much further we should be? You know, a lot of stuff, like I told you, somebody commented in there about women preachers. I don't even think about women preachers. I forgot all about it. Women wearing pants. A lot of stuff, I, don't, I just think, I don't even think nothing about it no more because it gets so prominent. These holding the churches, the main fight to flight, they got it one husband, one wife, no women preachers, no women wearing pants, no women wearing makeup. And that's exactly right. But that principle, you still dealing with milk. Women, they don't know that by now. Society done pushed them so far that people done just grabbed onto this concept that people just doing stuff. But our people got to get these principal things so we can move on to perfection. That's just being that. One husband, one wife? They still wrestling with that? How many so-called gods is it? When the man done said, clear the head and told you they straight forth the Shamaim and spread abroad, the man said, what nobody with me? How did y'all account these other, these three, where these other two gods at? So we learned that when he sent the man, that he actually put himself in the flesh. He said when he saw it, it him, and his own arm brought him salvation. Man wrapped himself in flesh and blood and came down here and delivered us. And these people got three gods. But this is what they do. And they're still going to church. People, I'm reading the same book they read. All I do is give them some Aubrey words to what a guy and leave them with the same book and they still get confounded. And I'm twisting up something. Because they can't understand that this ain't what they, they've been told something. These people psychologically enhance your mind and make you see something that he never said. Yeah. They're like the woman with five one husbands. How did you get there when the man said you had five and the one you got now is not yours? That's six. Yeah. How did you know where this woman at the well with five husbands? When the man just could have told you she got six. But when they program your mind, yeah. you take up. And then she preached. The man never gave her no water. They never even looked at him. Never gave. Where's your husband? I don't have one. He said, "You told the truth. You had five to one. You got none. Not yours." Mm -hmm. The woman had six of them, and they still stuck on this woman. Went preaching. Cause some woman preacher ministry sent them out here and made a fool out of them. Yeah. Your soul online and people playing games with you. Instead of these people just tell you the truth, I don't know what I'm doing up here. Just tell these people the truth. Don't leave yeah. these four wrong. Let these people get away and get some help. Yeah. For the sake of taking in money, they'll leave these people, putting these women on their back. The women ain't got no better sin. Yeah. In the book told they leave captive silly women laid with sin. Yeah. Then they let the folk teach them that the serpent had sex with Kaua in the garden. Can't find it nowhere. Yeah. Oh, these Christian religion tell, oh, the, the snake had slipped. When, tell me find where you find where the snake slipped up with them. Because they believe what they want to believe. Because the book said that Khan, that Khan was of the wicked one. They were talking about his action, his behavior. They took that because he was of. That means he was born of. That's what they do. That's that. Your daddy the devil. They told you are your father the devil. Your mama had sex with the devil. So your mama slept with him too. I don't know why they're going to do it. He just told because the work of him, you'll do. So when you say that Khan, that Khan came, you're going to call him was of the, there was a child of the devil, not because the snake had sex with his mother, but because of the behavior. So when you have the same behavior, the devil, your daddy too. Yeah. But they ain't going to take that though. Christian church didn't tell them that, did they? That's why I said, that stuff be so elementary. And they wrestle and struggle as though they've been enlightened or something. Your soul on the line. Well, I tell you the truth, we're in bad shape. We're in bad shape. 
but people just hadn't told her. We just don't know what kind of bad shit we in yet. Where I got you holding? Barberine 5.13. You should finish it up. For every one that uses milk is unskillful in the debar of Sadiq, for he is a babe, but strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age. By what? Even those who by reason of use. See that? By using, that did what? Have their senses exercised to discern both Taub and Rasha. They got a conscience. They got a conscience. They can decide what's right and what's wrong. Isn't that right? By reason of use. You know, when Yahushua, what they call Joshua, Yahushua, when he took the people before he crossed over, you didn't believe what he told them to do. Choose who you're going to serve by reason of use, by the fact that these people have come through, tried other gods, and failed with them. That these people were able to sit here and to a point that he could say, I'm going to let you make the decision who you're going to serve. By reason of use. Exercise. They had been through it. They had already failed. They had already made another one. And it failed. They've already tried it. It failed. So now he gave them an opportunity to chance to say, you can choose this union who you're going to serve. By reason of use, exercise them. Huh? Going through a regular practice. Y'all all right? I don't know. We encounter one of these uh, precarious situations where I don't know. Uh, wh where you at? What you trying to do? I asked y'all, they don't know. What y'all trying to do? What y'all trying to do? Where y'all trying to go? Because then we got to start looking at some changing things and start looking at how things actually work for us. A lot of things were put into play. Those people that he called fools and slow and hard, and simply because they lost Amunah at a point, but their belief was based off of a written system. He said, Thus said Yahuwah, and he told you who he was. He's the Redeemer of Yasharal and his Kodash one, and they knew it was him. Which means these people had a better understanding than a lot of us, and they were fools. You ain't even made it, you ain't even gravitated to fool yet. They said they trusted it should have been him. Yes, and Yahoo just told you he was the redeemer of Yasharal. And his Kadash one. Mashali 30 and 1. Chapter 30, verse 1. Proverbs. These people got better. How, they fools. What are we? They were walking and they were talking. Them folks weren't telling no Joseph plan. They were going back over everything that happened. When he walked up, they, they was able to tell him. They, they, he, he didn't throw them. He said, what happened? They were like, first of all, we're not even talking to you. You don't even know what happened. You're not even from around him. You don't even know what happened. What you been doing? They talking about a man was mighty in the, in the debar, all these things this man done. And then they told you what they did. We trusted it had been him. We'll listen to that 44 and 4 again of the book of Yeshayahu. He got me marshally. They call Proverbs 30 and 1. Listen to the book. The Dabarim of Agur, the Ben of Jaque, even the Nabua, the East spake unto Ithiel, even unto Ithiel and Ukal. Surely I am more brutish than any Ish. Listen. And have not the understanding of an Ish. What happened? I neither learned wisdom nor have the knowledge of the Kudash. What happened? Who hath ascended up into Shamayim? Yeah. Or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Yeah. Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Yeah. Who hath established all the ends of the Arats? He want to know that who established all the ends of the Arats. Listen. What is his name? He want to know what was his name. And what is his Ben's name? If what? If thou canst tell. He want to know if you could tell him. Can you answer that? He just told y'all he didn't know about him. Neither he had knowledge of the Kodash one. 44 and 4, Yasha, or Yasha Yahoo. Yeshayahu, Isaiah 44, at verse 4. Listen to the book. And they shall spring up as among the grass, yeah. as willows by the Mayim courses. One shall say, I am Yahuwah's. Yeah. And another shall call himself by the Shem of Yaqob. Yeah. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto Yahuwah. Yeah. And surname himself by the Shem of Yasharal. Yeah. Listen. Thus saith Yahuwah, the Malak of Yasharal, and his Redeemer. And his who? Redeemer. He said, Thus saith Yahuwah of who? Thus saith Yahuwah, the Malak of Yasharal. We're looking for the Malak of Yasharal. 
And what else? And his redeemer. That's conjunction. And his redeemer. That's what he want to know about. He want to know about Yahuwah. And he want to know about the knowledge of the Kodash one. He let the one that was going to come. And one that was going to proceed out from him. That's what we've been looking for. These people told you. They trusted that it had been him. They were trusted that he was that Kadosh one. They trusted that Yahuwah, Yahusha, was our redeemer. Wow. What do we talk about redeeming? The what? Yeah. yeah. Bring back the full value. Or we look at you want to compensate for something. You want to compensate for a wrong. That's what it is. You're compensating for a wrong. See, just these little words that you use, these common words, have a lot more value to them than what we're thinking. He was trying to compensate for a wrong. That's what he was doing. Trying to compensate for a wrong. Your redeemer. Can you imagine that? Compensate. That's what he did. For an aspect, which is for a future. He saw something later that was going to happen. He had a lot more insight than what people know. When you just look at what all this man did and all these different things you hear about what this man done, he started giving you things that you could understand. Because we men. Right? Jump down that 24th chapter again. Since we're at 22. Let's roll down that same book. 44, 22. Let's just roll down a little bit. Let's finish him out. 44, 22. Yeshayahu, Isaiah. 44, 22. Listen to the book. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. See that? Told you to return. See that? I don't compensate it for that fault. You hear what he just asked you to do? He just told you to return to him. I compensate it for that fault. You know what we asked one time? Zion asked about. Well, which shall we return? That's what they looked at. It didn't make sense. How are we going to go back? They want to know how they're going to return back. He just told you to return back. I just compensated for that fault. Can you, imagine, can you imagine when he came down and he called Adam, he was trying to tell him, I'm compensating for that fault. You know what he looked at? I don't see no way back. He didn't see no way back. Y'all understand what happened? And a highway going to be there? He comp That's what redeem is. He was compensating for a fault. For a future aspect. He could already see what was going to happen for us. So he was already compensating for it. You know, he realized what the law do. So I had to compensate for it. So now he came on the scene and we started hearing about him being a redeemer. Can you imagine that? A redeemer. How many times y'all heard redeemer you ain't thought a whole lot about what it means? Really didn't. Why would you? Why would you? Nobody taught you to. Tahalim 103 and 1. So I'm trying to work this out. Get some work. We'll do it. However he see fit. A lot of y'all ought to be grateful for your IQ. And y'all are cool. Because if it weren't for them, you'd be in trouble. I'm going to get me Tahalim. One oh seven and one two. One oh three and one. They call it Psalms. But it's Tahalim, the praises. Tahalim. So we want y'all to be educated. Nobody make a fool out of you no more. How many times you have been before you've been kind of you heard things come from Christian annex and you just realize, goodness, no defense toward it. They kind of trap you off, you don't know, and they say some stuff, you're thinking, that's deep, that's spiritual. Make a fool out of it. People throw so much stuff out of it. We don't know where these people getting this stuff from. I want to get an understanding. They said that's how they knew he had come. He had came. He had gave them an understanding. See, in the 30th chapter of the book of Marshall Lee, he told you he didn't know. He testified, I'm brutish. He said, I'm dumb, I'm stupid. Than any, than any other man you got. He said, I don't have any of the knowledge. So it makes sense that we go with the principle. It's written in Navi, they all gonna have to be taught. If you brutish. But see, this is what messed up. He was honest. He didn't go, Leon, I know him. I know the Kadash one. I know who did all this. He said, I'm telling you, I don't know. 
So what's going what's to need to happen? He going to need to be taught. He going to need to be taught. How he going to come if he's not taught? You saying you trying to get somewhere, which means you trying to come under me, all you that burden in heaven. How you going to come if you ain't been taught? You don't even know what you're coming for. You don't even know what you're coming to. That's what Zion looked at. I can't, where are we going to return? Yeah. Yeah. To what? Listen, when they saw Jerusalem, it was a waste place. Yep. So how could they possibly see returning? What were they going to go back to? Everything would burn down. And this man saying, come back? This don't even make sense. It's nothing there. What do you think? Why y'all think the Methodists didn't come back? We well, gonna sit here and watch the man die and took him down. Where are you going? Where are you going to? He just made that thing a waste place. Where are we going to return to? Listen to the book. Barak Yahuwah, O my Nefash. See that? Barak Yahuwah, and what else? And all that is within me, Barak is Kudash name. And that's what messes up a lot of You got to have something in you. That's the first thing right there. You got to have something in you. Listen. Barak, Yahuwah, O my Nefash, and forget not all his benefits. See that? Listen. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, yeah. who redeemeth thy life what, from destruction. What? Who did what? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Y'all see that? Can you imagine that? This man redeemed your life from destruction. Y'all can imagine that? Barashi. 40. Genesis 40. 12. Listen to the book. And Yahusha said unto him, Listen. This is the interpretation of it. Yeah. The three branches are three Yamin. Yet within three Yamim shall Pharaoh lift up thine head and restore thee unto thy Malcolm, and thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand after the former manner when thou wast his butler. Listen, what happened? But think on me when it shall be well with thee. But do what now? Think on me when it shall be well with thee. Maybe they heard this statement before. Remember me. Remember me when you come into your Malcolm. Listen what happened. And shew kindness, I pull all thee unto me. Why? And make mention of me unto Pharaoh. Why? And bring me out of this Beth. Why? For indeed I was stolen away out of the Beth. I don't of know the why Iberine. the to I was stolen. Tell me what else happened, son. And here also have I done nothing that they should put me into the dungeon. So you said, you're going to need to be redeemed. I'm going to have to compensate for a fault. Because now you sit here and you're in prison. And the man just told you, you ain't going to believe why he in there. Because of the law. Come on. The man, listen, his master came home and his wife said he tried to rape her. And she had evidence. She said, and when I screamed, the man left his clothes, Basti. So when his master came home, he gone, his clothes had my wife saying he's, what is our law? Put him in prison. Who was going to fix this? That means he was going to have to be redeemed. That's how important it is for you to understand when you say stuff. You start quoting stuff, running out, and you saying stuff. Because you really don't understand. They don't call it Ica. That's not the name. They'll call it Lamentation. 3 and 50. Let's see what that says. Like. It's how. That should be a word. Why? Yeah. 3. What did I say? 3 and 50? Yes, sir. Well, let's see what that's like. 
Y'all work with me, I'm getting old. Listen to the book. Lamentations, after Jeremiah they call it. Yeah, I'm Yahoo. Please don't tell me you're what they call the New Testament. Look for this. Listen to the book. Till Yahuwah looked down, and behold, from Shamaim, mine eye affecteth mine lob because of all the banu of my city. Mine enemies chased me sore like a bird without cause. Yeah. They have cut off my kai in the dungeon and cast a stone upon me. Yeah. Maim flowed over mine head. Then I said, I am cut off. Mm -hmm. I called upon the Shem, O Yahuwah, out of the low dungeon. Thou hast heard my voice. Hide not thine ear at my breathing, at my cry. Yes. Thou drewest near in the yum that I called upon thee. Mm -hmm. Thou saidest, Fear not. Yes. O Yahuwah, thou hast pleaded thy causes of my nefash. Thou hast redeemed my kai. What? Thou hast redeemed my kai. What happened? O Yahuwah, yeah. thou hast seen my wrong. Shafet, thou my cause. Mm -hmm. Thou hast seen all their vengeance and all their imaginations against me. Thou hast heard their reproach, O Yahuwah, and all their imaginations against me. The lips of those that rose up against me and their device against me, all the you. So we look at that man coming along and this is what he did to us. You lost your life in the garden. So he had to compensate for a fault. Y'all didn't know that? Let's see. Let's look at your law. Who Allah Shemut, chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. Why you about to get a Barack? Ain't that something? 20 and 6. We're just going to write it smaller. Ain't nobody getting away. And we'll give him a check for thinking he escaped. 20 and 5. Who Allah Shamut 20 and 5. Listen. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahuwah, thy Allahim, am a jealous Allahim. I couldn't imagine what he'd do. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the beneath. And you don't give me your casa call 18 and 1. Doing what now? Visiting the iniquity of the fathers well, upon the Bani unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And doing what? And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. That's good. Your cause are called 18 and 1. Y'all heard y'all long? Trying to come to them that love him. This is 18 and 1. Your cause are called. Your cause can call. Ezekiel. 18 and 1. Listen to the book. The Debar of Yahuwah came unto me again, saying, What did he say? What mean ye that ye use this Marshali concerning the Beth of Yasharal? Is a Marshali wrong? Not at all. Just a little, a short statement that's still true. He want to know why they use it. Like what? Saying, The Abba hath eaten sour grapes, and the Beniz teeth are set on edge. What happened? As I live, saith Yahuwah Allahim. Tell me what happened, son. Ye shall not have occasion anymore to use this Mashali in Yasharal. Make sense? At 107 and 1 of Tahalim. I'll try to let you. I know y'all can't take much. That baby sleepy. Y'all better get away from these bottle acts you got. We gotta get this thing right. I ain't trying to chance it. I want to understand it. 107 and 1, Tahalim. Listen to the book. Oh, give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is told. Yeah. For his mercy endureth forever. What happened? Let the redeemed of Yahuwah say so. But how are they going to do it when they don't know? They used to say that too. They used to, I remember out of Christian church, my pastor used to say that. I got a song that the angels can't sing. 
I've been redeemed. I don't know where people get them live from. It man done to redeem everybody from Shamaim in the arise everywhere. I don't know where people come up with that stuff from. If you've been redeemed, he said, you ought to say so. But just to be honest, how are you going to say it if you don't even understand it? Huh? How are you going to do it when you don't even understand it? Look at what should have happened to all of us to him. How many of y'all parents you believe have committed iniquity? Where should that have fallen? And then where should they have fell after he hit you on your children? How far? Third and fourth generation. Somebody had to come and redeem us. Who was going to redeem us from the curse of the law? See, that's the curse of the law. What are we going to do about it? Here, I'm sitting here, and I'm cursed, as Joseph just said, and I've done nothing worthy of it. He said, listen to what he told him. What, you, what mean you to use the, the, the marshalee? The abbas had eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on ears. He said, what happened? As I live, saith Yahuwah Allahim. Listen to what happened. You shall not have occasion anymore to use this marshalee and Yasharal. So you see why they would have been sad too. Listen to what he just told you. As I what? Live. As I what? Live. As I what? Live. We just seen him die. That's why they were using that kind of communication. They were sad one with another. Because we trust it was going to be him that was going to redeem us. That's why it was, he just said, as I live. You just sat here and watched him die. Were we going back to the curse of the law? Were we going to be stuck under the curse of the law? This is why they would have been saying. They listened to what the law taught them. As I live. So we trusting that he's going to keep living. And we saw him die and not get up and hit the third you. What you thought? How were you thinking they gonna feel? We're done. Don't you know the book said had it not he left us a seed, we'd have been like Solomon had been made like the Gamar? That's why they would have been sad. But you win because it don't matter one way or another. You just pray and say. It's not that's what happened to us. It's fiction. Our salvation had been fiction. This is predicated on him doing what he said he was going to do. That's why we got to know what did he do. You look at people and you will criticize these people, but these people had law. And these people looked at it's got to line up with their law. And they helped to produce their armor now because faith come by here and hearing by. I don't know how you're going to be saved without the law. You're going to have to hear it. If you're following right and if you're conscious, then it should produce armor now. And if you fall in right, it should get you right to Yahushua. Because Musha told us that he was the conclusion of it. Listen to the book. Behold, all nefash are mine. See that? All of them are mine. Listen what happened. As the nefash of the Abba so? also is the nefash of the Ben so what is mine. What happened? The nefash that sinneth. What happened? It shall die. That's all I had. Give me a fair chance to fail to fail to make it on my own. That's all I had. Give me a fair chance to make it on my own. He redeemed us. Gave us opportunity. If you fall, it's going to be your fault. You make it, you're going to make it. He said, we're going to stop using that. People going around trying to use other people. You can't do that. Isn't that right? 91. Get I'm trying to let y'all go. I said, I'm going to try. Put the pen up. Try to put the pen up. DJ, you think we forgot about that wrong name you call that name? Exactly. You can't blame on your daddy. That's yours. Ain't that right? Let me hit check. They got John Kidd, they're going to blame him. See, he said as he lived, nobody's going to be able to blame that no more. John Kidd, them your, them your chicks. Isn't that right? We got to stay with law, right? He living, so your name up there, them, that's yours. Listen to the book. And as Yahushua passed by, he saw an each which was blind from his birth. Listen what happened. And his mistakes asked him, saying, Adon, who did sin, this each or his parents, that he was born blind? See that? 
This is what he told you. Yahushua answered, Neither have this each sinned nor his parents. What happened? But that the works of Elohim should be made manifest in him. You know what would have happened? He'd have told us that that man's parents sinned. That would have crippled some of our hope. Because we've been here as long as he lived, he said he was going to stop that. That's why they want to know. Because they, they let you know how they were informed by the law, didn't they? But a lot of times with tragedy happening to people, it only going to happen one or one. They don't look, it's going to happen one or two ways. Either you got it because of your parent, which is law. Or you wind up doing something and then it fell down on you. But he just came to tell them that neither. But that the works of Elohim should be made manifest in him. And what you going to do? I must work the works of him that sent me while it is you. Why? The Layla cometh when no each can work. That's what I'm talking about. See, that man was already setting us up. Just hearing that little small, small statement. The law had already told him nobody going to be walking around accused anymore because of the parent. He said, everybody's going to die because of their own sin. You're going to create the action that's going to cause you to be saved or cause you to be damned. Y'all got me? You got an opportunity to make the choice on what side you're going to walk. A lot of times, some of us have walked around here and tried to use old past stuff or tried to use our parents or how we were born or how we were reared to why we can't be saved. He said, you can't use that stuff no more. I don't know what, I remember how my mom used to treat me growing. I remember my daddy was, shut your mouth. Got nothing to do with it. It's you. He said, all of the Nefasha mind. Just like the Nefasha, your mother and your father, so yours belong to him too. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. You're going to die. You're going to be condemned. You're going to burn because of your action. Don't try to use your parents. He said, I don't came. So he was already setting the way up for it. What were the people going to say that were caught in the, fourth gener in the third generation, in the second generation? So they're going to be like Yahusha. Here, I've done nothing worthy of this. And when you get away and you finally get restored, you know what he wanted to do? Make mention of me. Remember me. Now you can see why the thief could tell him that when he was on the two. A thief that committed sin, guess what he knew? Law, because you're going to be restored back to your position. You're going back to your position. Remember me. You won't do that, though. You won't do that. It makes sense. That's why they ask somebody to remember. That's how I'm pointing your lawyer. Remember me. That thief could clearly see this man who's been condemned with us is going to be put back in his position. And when you do, make mention of me. You know what he told him? It's you and you're going to be with me in paradise. And he said, and not California. That's good. Give you a